Hello guys, hello everyone, welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Alaki and if it is your first time being here, thank you for stopping by. Today's video is touching on the topic of English learning and if you are here watching this video, which really means that you are an English learner and you want to improve your English and that you are looking for ways and tips and habits. To improve your English. As for me guys, English is my third language and I've been learning English for the past three years. Yes, I've been learning English over the past three years. You really know that it really takes time, right? So it really takes time and learning a language is a journey and it really takes time and effort. So you just need to be patient and just need to keep on improving and keep on learning and as for me I consider myself a learner because you never really cease to learn you never really stop learning whether it is a language a new skill we keep on learning because by learning we keep on improving as for the title of this video it's going to be the five habits that help me in my English learning journey all the habits are from my own experience and I'm sure that you're going to relate to or maybe you have heard all these habits somewhere it is good guys we keep on learning and we keep on learning and we keep on inspiring one another and that is a good thing but before jumping into the first habit I'm going just to tell you guys you know you need to choose a platform you really need to choose a platform where we are going to watch videos only in your target language and if it is in English please that choose that platform and only decide to watch videos in English as for me this is something that I used to do and I still doing I just watch videos in English on YouTube so as you can see that more than just being a YouTube creator YouTube is my platform where I watch videos in English and you know guys more than just being a youtuber I used to watch a lot of YouTube videos guys and I realized that I was watching more YouTube videos more than I watched television and I was like YouTube is my new platform and this is a platform that I still use it till today I watch a lot of videos on YouTube and this is the platform I choose guys and as for you you really need to pick a platform where you find interest in maybe you are passionate about watching movies watching series it is your hobby to watch series and movies maybe you need to pick Netflix you know guys where you just decide I'll be just watching series or movies in English because Netflix you have all kind of videos all kind of series you know guys or maybe if you say no I'm just going to pick another platform it is good so this is the reason that I tell you you need to choose a platform choose a platform where you know that you're going to find topics that you are really interested or passionate about this is so crucial guys just pick a platform where you know that you are going to watch only all the things that you want in English when you choose a platform and you decide to watch all the videos in your target language or in English the first habit you need to improve or to keep on learning is your listening because you are not just going to watch to see visual to see people no you need to listen what they are speaking so listening is very crucial in learning skill and that is the first habit you need to improve your listening skill you really need to take that first habit to work on your listening skill guys that is very crucial because you can say that you want to speak a language if you don't know how to listen and understand that language and there are really various ways to work on your listening skills it may be through songs it may be through movies through or podcasts but the only way that i advise you guys to to listen to music more often and why i choose this because i know that we all love music <laughs> you can't tell me that you don't listen to music guys that is impossible we all love music we love listening to music so just if you're listening to your favorite artist just 
take that music, listen carefully and try to understand what the singer is saying without just watching the lyrics. Just try to understand by your own ears. That is a good thing, guys. Just try to understand without watching a lyrics. And I actually advise you to, to improve your listening skills through music. And as you are listening to different kind of music by different artists, you are going to to try to just to understand their accent, to understand what they are saying, some word that you don't know. You're just going to be curious just to know what they are saying. And that's very helpful. But also you can improve your listening skills to podcasts. This is something I've been doing. Improving your listening skills to podcasts is very crucial because podcasts are more than 30 minutes. So this is so good because you need to be focused to understand. For the first habit, you really need to watch more videos in your target language if you really want to improve your listening skill. And for the second habit, you really need to just have the habit to record yourself if you want to improve your speaking skills. And from all the four skills, reading, writing, listening, and speaking, Speaking is the most difficult skill to master. So I'm just telling you this by my own experience. I've been learning English over the past few years now and one thing that I can tell you is that speaking skill was the most difficult thing for me because for so many reasons guys, speaking is the most difficult skill for everyone out there learning a new language. That's why I want to tell you, film yourself videos. If you want, to, if you really want to improve your English, just start filming, start recording yourself. And as for me, I live in a non-English speaking country. And if you're living in a non-English speaking country, it's going to be difficult for you to practice because when you go outside, you speak in your national language when you go outside to speak in other languages but if you keep on just making that habit of recording yourself filming yourself or being in front of your mirror just practicing with yourself it's going to save you it's going to save you guys so just keep filming yourself i used to do that habit i used to record myself filming myself because I wanted to overcome that shyness. I wanted to overcome that fear that comes with, you know, with, with speaking a new language. You feel that fear of being judged because you say, you know guys, if I speak that, if, if I speak this language, people are going to judge me. So all these fears, you need to overcome them. And for me, what I used to do, I used to record myself. And look at me now, I do have my own YouTube channel. I went from filming myself in my home, recording myself from having a public YouTube channel. That is, that is huge guys. That is huge guys. That is really huge and I'm so proud of myself. So you need to practice just having your phone, recording yourself, filming yourself and after watching yourself and you're going to look at where you need to improve how and i'm going to ensure you guys this habit is going to help you in your speaking skills so just keep on practicing and keep on recording yourself it's going to help you for the third habit guys keep a journal or a copy book where you're going to ask to write anything and everything this is one thing i used to do and i'm still doing it because being a content creator you need to script videos you need to do a lot of research and as i do have a youtube in english if i see a topic i need to do research and by doing research i'm going to do it in english and while doing research i'll be writing in english and from that i'm still improving my writing skills so i feel like writing skills is something that i really mastered before any skill because i feel like it is an easy one to master and you just need to write you know it doesn't matter your vocabulary you just need to write in that simple vocabulary that you do have just write so keep a journal or have a copy books as for me guys i used to have a copy books until now i still have copy books where 
I write about research where well, I script YouTube videos. So that's writing in my copybooks helped me to keep improving my writing skills because as I said before, we never cease to learn, we never stop to learn, we keep on learning. For the fourth habit, you really need to decide on which accent you need to focus on. I wasn't thinking about that for me to just to learn English. So in my first year, I would just keep on speaking all kind of accents. And especially in English, we do have many accents, guys. <laughs> the most popular ones are American and British accent. But you know, we do have many accents in English. So all the accents in English comes with the dialect of your national language. And that is understandable because we all have that accent when you speak a foreign language. As for me, they used to tell me, oh, you do have a French accent. French is not my mother tongue, but because I actually pursued my primary and secondary school in French system, so I feel like it, it is understandable. It is a language that I use to speak a lot. And when it comes to speak English, they were telling me how that French accent in your English. And I was like, why? Why? So actually, I actually think it's understandable. And I actually feel for you guys, it's going to be difficult because the mother tongue is your mother tongue. And when you try to learn a new language, you're going just to have that heavy accent in your English. That is understandable. But you can choose to focus on which accent you want and keep on learning, keep on practicing, and keep on improving, guys. And for me, I choose uh, in American accent. For, I feel like the first option was British accent. Then I realized in British, you really, you really need to pronounce each and every word. So I was like, I'm just going to choose American accent. And <laughs> it is still difficult to pronounce some words in American accent, but you no know, guys, I'm still learning and I'm still improving. I've been inspired by so many YouTubers who have YouTube channels where they teach other people because it is good to know that someone was there in a certain level and now is up there. You know guys, that is so good. And we live to inspire one another and we keep on inspiring one another. As for me guys, I've been like, my level of English was maybe on C or C minus, but now I can say maybe I'm on B. You know guys, we really never know. <laughs> so this is a good thing because we keep on learning and we keep on inspiring one another. You really need to choose an accent on which you need to focus on. And the last habit but not least is to never stop learning. And I love this quote that says, never stop learning because life never stops teaching. So that is a good quote. I found it so, so good. And as I said, you really never stop learning. So learning a language is unlimited. So learning a language is infinite, guys. You need to keep on learning. You need to keep on improving. And of course, it's going to demand a lot of effort from you guys. So just know that you're a student and you keep on learning. As you learn, you know guys, if you look at you, you have been learning, you have been studying from primary, secondary, college or university, you know guys, you, you have been learning all these years, so why not on keep on learning, why not on keep on improving on your English? Because you have been learning a language for two years, that does not mean that you are really now fluent or you have mastered that language. So you need to keep on learning, you keep on improving each and every day. And this is life guys. We we need to keep on learning. You need to keep on improving. Learning a language is unlimited. So I do have some special quotes. And the one is, you are always a student, never a master. You have to keep moving forward. So you know guys, this is the example of saying how you have been learning from primary, secondary, college or university. You know, you have been a student for many years. So. Keep on moving forward. Keep on moving, guys. If you are still learning a language, keep on moving forward. Keep on learning that language because you are always a student. 
And the, the other quote said, responsibility for learning belongs to the student, regardless of age. Don't say, I'm too old now to learn a language. Don't just discourage yourself. No, keep on learning. It doesn't matter your age, guys. You know, if you want to learn that new language, just go ahead and learn that language. I have another quote that says, Every person that you meet knows something you don't. Learn from them. This is so good, guys. It's a good quote because it reminds us that what we know there is someone that actually knows more than what we know so the last habit is a bonus and it is the habit that actually concludes this video it is simple just be humble it meant humble guys in this life you don't need really to show yourself like you know everything don't be too proud don't show yourself that you know everything so be humble because we all learn from one another we all learn from different people and we all are curious just know something different that we really don't know so be humble remain humble that is a good advice you will receive from everyone from every successful people they are going to tell you be humble and i'm going to give some quotes and the first one is humility is the most beautiful virtue that we can develop that's so so true guys this is so so true if you are not humble learn to be humble you don't learn to be humble but i feel like you can develop to be humble if you feel too proud just learn to develop that humbleness from you i feel like in this life we are all proud of something even though we don't show it we are all proud of something as for me i can say i'm really proud because i'm really proud of my level of english now because i know where i come from but being proud of like you need to put other people down that is not good so we all have that pride in us in one way or another but don't be too proud when you need to show yourself that you know everything and you really need to put other people down that is that's so so ridiculous so the last call that i really found it helpful and really teachable is true humility is staying teachable regardless of how much you already know so this is this is what i was saying you really need to stay teachable you really need to stay like someone who really need to learn more regardless of what you know so this is true humility so let us learn to be humble let us learn to remain humble in whatever we do and to uplift other people and to just you not know, keep on learning to be the best versions of ourselves guys so i encourage you to do so because i'm doing it i'm doing to improve my english each and every day so i encourage you to do the same thank you so much for watching if you are really new to the channel please subscribe i will be glad to welcome you in the family so just subscribe and if you find this video helpful just share the video with someone you know who may want to hear these words and it's going to mean a lot to me so guys thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next one bye bye